When you look back at Philadelphia Radio's golden era of legendary disc jockeys and popular music, there in the middle of it all, star shining bright, is broadcast pioneer's person of the year, Dean Tyler. In the glory days of Wibbage, Dean was there. Programming top-rated WIP in the 70s, Dean was there. In WPEN's huge years during the 80s, Dean was there. Dean's climb in the radio ranks included stints at WFIL, WHN, and WNEW in New York City, WJBK in Detroit, and KLIF in Dallas, Texas. Dean not only fielded the mic and turntable, he also quarterbacked stations as manager. Dean Tyler began life as Dudley Tyler Finch. He was studying biology at the University of Delaware in preparation to become a veterinarian when the lure of radio deprived many a dog and cat of its care. He dropped the Dudley and the Finch and became one of the best-known names in Philadelphia radio. His first words on the air went out on WAMS in Wilmington, Delaware. He eventually was drafted into the U.S. Army, but that didn't stop Dean's romance with radio. He worked with Armed Forces Radio at the Brook Army Medical Center in Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas. At night, he worked in commercial radio and TV in San Antonio. Back in Philadelphia, he was one of Wibbage's classic jocks for several years, became a nationally recognized program director at WIP, then went on to become vice president and general manager of WPEN WMGK. Before retiring in December 2000, Dean returned to his roots, and while still running the station, he hosted WPEN's morning show with Elaine Sonsini for several years. When he was at the helm of WPEN, the station received two Marconi Awards from the National Association of Broadcasters and a silver medal for being the best in format at the International Radio Festival of 1989. Dean's leadership also resulted in awards from Billboard and Cal Rudman's Friday Morning Quarterback magazine. He was inducted into the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame in 2002. It wasn't all business. Dean has been involved in charity work throughout his career. His efforts for the Leukemia Society, the March of Dimes, the Variety Club, the Heart Association, and the Fox Chase Cancer Center have won him countless awards. A look at his career and lifelong love of radio makes it clear why Dean Tyler is the broadcast pioneer's 2012 Person of the Year.